We're going to take a look at one of the most common obstacles we encounter in getting a, a burner and, and boiler piece of equipment running, and, and that's pilot problems. To light the main burner, we've got to first establish a pilot uh, in order and verify it to safely open the main fuel valves and, and get the show on the road. Um, but pilots can be finicky, and there are a few things that are critical. And the three most important things are that we have a heat source or ignition, we've got fuel, and we've got air. And each of those things has certain challenges that uh, come along with them. So um, when we try to light a burner, um, we've got a pilot solenoid, we've got a pilot regulator, we've got an ignition transformer, we've got an air source, and we've got a scanner. So we're going to look at and kind of break these down and look at each aspect. Um, we need all those things, but we're going to start with a spark. So our ignition voltage comes from an ignition transformer, and these can deteriorate over time. So if our ignition transformer gets weak and doesn't generate a sufficient spark, then we won't light a pilot. Um, the easiest way to verify that that is still functioning correctly is to use uh, a spark plug tester and I'm going to set that up so we can see how that works. So the health of an ignition transformer is determined basically by its secondary voltage or indirectly the length of the spark because if we've got a transformer that can only generate a spark that'll jump an eighth or sixteenth of an inch, we don't have a reliable gap, we don't have a reliable spark. So I've got this spark plug tester from an auto parts store and what it allows me to do is safely wire this up in such a way that I can actually gauge the length of the spark that can be created by the transformer. I've seen this done other ways with channel locks and and holding that ignition wire and, and playing with it, but there's a lot better chance to get in shock doing it that way um, by jumpering the sub base from power to the ignition output and closing my pilot gas valves. I can simply apply power and measure that spark jump. And I want a spark that can easily jump a quarter inch, probably farther to ensure that we've got a good healthy transformer that can do the job. So let's check this out. So what that tells us is that if we've got a quarter inch spark, then any gap between our electrode and the grounding surface inside the pilot, if it's less than a quarter inch, we're going to successfully generate a spark. 